Right, so the weather outside is absolutely appalling and has been for on and off for weeks now. Um, I need to get the car sorted so I can't go out really to Pete's and uh, as I say it's just poxy for the back garden. So I have actually been uh, buying some things online so I thought I'd show you what I've been buying. So this is the first one. So what this is, is a barrel. Bit of a manky looking barrel. So this is from 1970s and it is actually a HW35. Uh, it's not a whole cartridge one, as in it's imported. But what it is, is a 2.2. So my one, uh, my HW35 is in 177. Um, and so what I've done is I bought a 2.2 barrel with the uh, deta the um, cocking arm, and I'll see about doing a barrel swap to see if there's any difference between the .177 caliber and the .22. I suspect it's a little bit harsh still, even with the Vortec kit, it's putting out about 10 foot pounds. Um, so I'm thinking this would bring it up nearer the 12. Um, hopefully with a larger pellet it should actually soften it down a little bit um, so I have got my hands full a little bit so I did start rubbing through just with some um, scotch bright and it is just like minor pitting so I want to get myself a, a random DA sander go over it see if we can polish it and I've got a new bluing compound that I want to try as well so uh, that's the plan for the HW35 Next up is a big white box. It has a target in it. So this is a Bython style target. It's actually got different size kill zones. You can actually take these out. I think it's 28 millimeters on the biggest one. It goes down to I think that's six or eight. And obviously, when you hit the pellet, I can't do it. Flips up. I believe this is just a bit of card just to protect it, just in transit, so it is all grey. It's powder coated, and it's a port to reset. So what I could do is take this down the range. Probably about 35 meters, maybe of um, cord. And I've got a variety of targets that's obviously quite reactive and quite positive, as in you can see when you hit it. But bear in mind, I think I paid 25 26 pounds for this from Pell Packs. I don't think that's too bad. So, quite looking forward to this. Right, next one is another box. Bear with me. Another box. Right, so can you tell what it is yet? There's a generation that won't even know what that is, or who said that, oh, Christ. Right, so this is another barrel. It's a 0.25. So this is brand new. For my HW80. So it is uh, like the carbine version. It's got the screw on UNF. So I will need to get a moderator just as a bit of a cocking aid, just to lengthen that a bit. Because that's going to be, I think it's 14 inches. That's going to be quite tough to cock. Um, but yeah, so brand new. Got a brand new brute seal. 
Um, apparently the bloke that bought it, um, put it on, power went up too much, good bother, and then took it off. So I don't actually know what's inside my HW18. I was planning to get a Vortec kit. I do have a number of different Virox springs, so I don't mind um, experimenting with it a little bit. And uh, yeah, just see what all this uh, hoo hub is about the uh, 0.25 quarter ball. So uh, I need to get obviously an appropriate silencer because that will smash the wasp name out of uh, the one that I've got at the minute because it's just too big. So to go along with this, some pellets. So I've got some super domes. Uh, what's that? Super H points, so just like wadkas. Uh, barracudas and some field target trophy. So the availability of pellets in 0.25 is a little bit less than it is obviously for the, the other calibers. Um, but these were some of the cheaper ones and obviously being RWS and HWM uh, generally speaking, they've all fired really, really well through my Virax, so I don't mind. Um, I won't get them out because I must admit, RWS pellets, they've got a, just a pop-on cover that's quite loose. It's like, come on. At least if h &M, it screws on. So these are huge. Well, certainly bigger than the... Uh, oops. Certainly bigger than the point one seven sevens. So these weigh 30.86, so literally three and a bit times the size of uh, Barracuda 8s and the likes. So yeah, they should make quite a thump when they uh, hit the, the spinners, which is uh, about 25, 30 yards maybe tops, taking this out. I think anything after that and it's going to be just hit and hope from what I understand. But certainly in the back garden at 15 yards. It should be more than ample enough to uh, knock things over and make a noise and just put a smile on me. So, with the HW35 barrel, obviously I'll try and change that over and show you how, and obviously we'll see what the power figures are like. We've got the HW80 going to 0.25 again. We'll see how we can do with the internals and just um, see what it's like at the minute. Because as I say, I've never actually taken the HW80 apart. I have still got, I was going to say, I've still got odds and sods from the HW80 project, but I've sold off bits and pieces, so I don't actually have a complete gun anymore to um, swap this out. But if I'm going to do it, I might as well just do it properly. And the, uh, that project was just filled with problems. I've um, got some pellets ready to shoot. got a target ready to shoot. I've got some 5mm spinners that I just need to finish off. So all in all, yeah, I've got a few little bits and pieces that are, uh, Maybe a few things on the horizon that I've caught my eye that I wouldn't mind trying to get. But yeah, it's a bit too naff out there to shoot at the minute, so I might as well show you what's uh, been coming in the post. All good things.